Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. My name is Spencer Simcoe, a 97 percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from module Biology 1, Lesson 10, the lungs. Be sure to hit pause and try this question out for yourself before watching my explanation. So to answer this question, we need to understand how the autonomic nervous system regulates our breathing. So in our arteries, specifically in our carotid artery, but they're in a few other places, that's just what I've drawn here, we have things called chemoreceptors and baroreceptors. Um, and those communicate to the brainstem via these autonomic efferent neurons. And chemoreceptors specifically tell the brainstem about the pH of the blood and the oxygen uh, levels of the blood. And baroreceptors tell the brain about the pressure of the blood. And the brain stem can then talk to lots of different things. It'll talk to the heart, it'll talk to the kidneys about these things. Um, but one thing that it talks to is our lungs. And so it's going to tell our lungs to breathe fa faster or slower, deeper or more shallow based on this information. So let's understand how these affect lungs a little bit. If we have a decreased pH, that means we have increased carbonic acid in our blood. And where did that carbonic acid come from? Well, it came from our CO2. Um, and so if we have increased carbonic acid, that means we have increased CO2. And if we have extra CO2 in our blood, we need to get rid of that. How do we get rid of that? By breathing. So we need to do more breathing if we have a decreased pH in our blood. Likewise, if we have decreased oxygen, that one's a little bit more straightforward. It's obvious that we need to breathe harder if we don't have a lot of oxygen in our blood. And then if we have increased blood pressure, that means we have increased blood flow going through our heart, which means we have more blood that needs to get oxygenated faster. So we need to be breathing faster. So now that we understand a little bit about how our breathing is regulated, let's try and answer this question. Which of these is going to determine the rate at which we breathe? Well, blood pressure, we know, is going to um, regulate breathing because if we have higher blood pressure, we need to breathe more. The concentration of oxygen, well, it's pretty obvious that if we need more oxygen, um, we need to breathe more. And the blood pH is going to affect how much we need to breathe because it's going to be a signal of how much CO2 is in the blood. So the correct answer is answer choice A, one, two, and three. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure and give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at mcatselfprep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure and check out our elite tutoring services and request a free 10-minute phone consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd be happy to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you soon.